anybody hears about a disaster, your automatic response is to help out. When we came across Never Yield, it really is at the essence of everything we do. When University of Arkansas student William Edwin Douglas penned the words, Arkansas will never yield for the lyrics of the Arkansas fight song, little did he know those words would still resonate with his beloved university more than a century later. Yet in only a few words, Douglas captured the indomitable spirit that remains a rallying cry for more than 460 student athletes competing in 19 sports at the University of Arkansas. On the field, in the classroom, and around the world, Razorback student athletes are exemplifying the never yield mantra as they travel the path to graduation while proudly representing our institution, our state, and Razorbacks everywhere. At the heart of the student athlete experience at the University of Arkansas is academic achievement and graduation. Just like on the fields of competition, the ultimate is the win, and the win for us in academics is graduation. We've had our head to the ground and, and really grinding to make sure that our, we're sending the message that student athletes, that they should be focused on graduation. Jeff set that tone uh, from the minute I know I stepped on campus in 2009. In 2013-14, Razorback student athletes achieved a program record 3.18 grade point average, marking the ninth consecutive semester the program's GPA has exceeded 3.0. More than 260 student athletes made the academic honor roll, and 14 programs posted a team GPA of 3.0 or higher. For the second straight year, all 19 Razorback sports exceeded the NCAA's academic progress rate benchmark, including three teams which earned public recognition awards for ranking in the top 10% nationally. In 2013-14, a total of 112 former and current Razorback student athletes earned their diplomas from the University of Arkansas an astounding 81% increase from the 62 student athletes who walked across the stage only six years ago. Included in the 2014 graduating class were six men's basketball student athletes. Graduating nearly half of the men's basketball team roster in one year is the latest indication that the academic and graduation game plan is working. Not only do we want our guys to have aspirations to plan the next level, but the ultimate is to graduate and uh, to have six guys uh, to walk across that stage. Uh, uh, that, I tell you what, that's winning off the floor. And I think that's what we're seeing is taking place uh, in, in our program. You've got to win off the floor before you win on the floor. We've come a long way with the way we support our student athletes towards graduation. It's no longer just about eligibility. It's about leaving here with that degree. And I think that rise from 62 student athletes graduating in a year to 112 uh, demonstrates that without question. The Razorback student athlete experience is about more than just academics and athletics. Far from the glare of television lights or stadiums filled with cheering Razorback fans, student athletes are learning skills that will prepare them for life after their collegiate careers. Through various personal growth and development programs, Razorback Athletics is fulfilling its mission of developing student athletes to their fullest potential through intercollegiate athletics. Helping lead the way is the Razorback Leadership Academy. In 2013-14, the Academy expanded its program to include additional training while also becoming the first in the nation to offer a leadership-based mobile app. Arkansas's trend-setting approach has been nationally recognized, and the Razorback Leadership Academy is widely regarded as the most comprehensive collegiate leadership program in the nation. You know, the Leadership Academy affects all aspects of their lives. It's not just the athletic side. It helps them make better personal choices and decisions for their own lives off their respective playing fields. Razorback student athletes are also presented opportunities to give back to others on campus and in every corner of Arkansas. In 2013-14, Razorback student athletes volunteered more than 6,500 hours, making a difference in the lives of thousands around the state. 
including victims of the devastating tornadoes in Mayflower and Valonia. Razorback student athletes, coaches, and staff made multiple trips to the central part of the state to help with the distribution of supplies and to host a family fun day aimed at lifting the spirits of residents in those communities. It was just another reminder of the tremendous positive influence Razorback student athletes can have on the state and their fellow Arkansans. In 2013-14, Arkansas was once again among the nation's most successful intercollegiate athletic programs. For the sixth time in seven years, Arkansas earned a top 30 finish in the Director's Cup, highlighted by 14 teams advancing to postseason play including four top 10 national finishes. One of the most notable performances came from women's soccer. The Razorbacks not only qualified for their first ever NCAA tournament, but advanced all the way to the round of 16. For coach Colby Hale, the postseason run was more than just a milestone. It's historical. I mean, I think the program's been around 28 years. It was the first one in program history. Um, you know, there's a big difference in selling a, this is what we can do and this is what we are doing. Soccer's magical run could be the first step in developing a championship pedigree similar to the one already enjoyed by the Razorbacks track and field programs. 2013-14 was no exception. The two programs combined to win four SEC championships, including sweeping both the team and individual titles at the SEC Cross Country Championships in Gainesville, Florida. The men's team went on to win the conference indoor title while the women's team captured the outdoor crowd. The SEC is the best of the best, and so anytime you can grab one of those trophies, as I tell the team, cherish the moment, because they're very difficult and very infrequent to be able to get an SEC championship. We've been very blessed, 23 SEC titles thus far, and I think we have uh, more yet to come. Razorback student athletes were busy earning individual championships as well. In fact, Arkansas won a combined 20 NCAA and individual titles, including Katherine Grable's record-breaking performance at the NCAA Gymnastics Championship. The Razorback senior won national championships in both the vault and floor, while finishing second in the all-around competition. Throughout the 12 years of this program, there have been so many amazing gymnasts that have walked into this gym and competed for Arkansas. And for me to be the first national champion is just an indescribable feeling and I'm so honored. Nothing is quite as gratifying as winning a championship. And Grable's near perfect vault at the NCAA meet provided more than just a trophy. Well, I'll tell you, like there, there's moments in life and that was one of them. I mean, I was so excited for her, for the sport, for the university. I mean, which, the, the vault she performed was the best vault I have ever coached in my entire career as far as how well she performed it. And to see her do it on a national stage at, at the most critical time was just, I mean, it was so fulfilling as a coach to see your athlete get out there and do it that well. At nationals, the second I landed my vault, I knew that it was one of the best vaults I could have done. And I saluted and turned around and Mark was right there and he gave me a hug and picked me off my feet and I just felt so much emotion and I, fi I felt like I finally did it for Arkansas and I did it for him and I did it for all my teammates and hugging him was just like, it was so emotional and it was so exciting for me to have him there too. On campus and around the state, Arkansas played host to more than 200 athletic events and welcomed more than one million fans. Arkansas was one of only two schools to rank nationally in the top 30 of attendance for football, men's basketball, and baseball. The Razorbacks also hosted an NCAA Gymnastics Regional and the NCAA West Outdoor Track and Field Regional. Combined with other marquee events, including the Red Tide Dinner, a men's basketball Final Four reunion, and other special events, Razorback Athletics continues to make a sizable economic contribution to the region. A recent study estimated the Razorbacks' annual economic impact to be more than $153 million annually. The same study estimated with current and planned projects, Razorback Athletics' total economic impact could surpass $1 billion for a five-year span. When University of Arkansas student athletes take to the field, they do so outfitted by the leading brand in collegiate athletics. 
The partnership between Nike and Razorback Athletics pairs the world's leading footwear and apparel provider with one of the nation's elite all sports programs. Well, our student athletes are thrilled to be associated with Nike. The shoes, the products, the uniforms, the apparel, it's what our student athletes want to wear and what they feel great about competing in. Respecting the past and representing the future was at the heart of a nearly two-year initiative which resulted in a new brand identity system, logos, and uniforms for all 19 Razorback teams. The uniforms were unveiled during the 2014 Hogsby Awards, and Razorback student athletes will soon be sporting the new look. Looking back and thinking about that night at the Hogsby's when we unveiled the, the new Nike gig uh, process and, and all of that along with the new uniforms, it just brings back a lot of great memories and just the excitement that was in the room and seeing the, the student athletes uh, reaction to those new uniforms was a, a priceless time that I know I'll never forget. In 2013-14, the Razorback Athletics Facilities Master Plan began to take shape. The beautiful Fred W. Smith Football Center was opened in August, while three other key projects were initiated, supported by the Never Yield Campaign. The Never Yield Campaign is currently focused on three capital projects. The Fowler Family Baseball and Track Training Center, the Basketball Performance Center, and the Student Athlete Success Center. While funding is going well for these projects, we'll be focused on the next 12 months on raising funds to complete all three of these facilities. Soon to serve more than 150 student athletes in three nationally competitive programs, the Fowler Family Baseball and Track Training Center is nearing completion. Named in honor of the Wallace and Jama Fowler family, the spacious facility will also bolster Arkansas's already stellar national reputation. Now with the new baseball track complex that is adjacent immediately to our indoor track uh, puts us in, in a situation where we're probably now the single best place to train, race, and compete uh, in the United States. In December, ground was broken on the Basketball Performance Center, a new practice facility for Razorback men's and women's basketball. When completed, the University of Arkansas will have a facility that not only allows flexibility and scheduling, but will send prospective student athletes a clear message about the program's commitment to student athlete development. The student athletes we have come in know that we have the facilities, we have all the things that it takes to put them in a position to have a chance to play at the next level. And that's what, you know, uh, you know the kind of players we're getting, that's what they're looking for. Uh, great education. But not only that, having access to facilities that can enable them to get where they want to go. Just north of Bud Walton Arena, a program transforming facility is beginning to take shape. The Student Athlete Success Center will not only serve more than 460 Razorback student athletes, it will help prepare them for a successful transition to life after athletics. The Student Athlete Success Center will absolutely impact every Razorback from the minute they step foot on campus. It's going to be a one-stop shop for us. It will be the premier academic facility in the country. It certainly will be the largest in the SEC, and it will, it will touch every aspect of a student athlete's life. The 55,000 square foot facility will house the Bogle Academic Center, a dining hall, and serve as a centralized home for all academics and personal and professional development of Razorback student athletes. The impact of the Razorback Foundation members goes way beyond the bricks and mortar of a student athlete success center. Your support impacts the Razorback student athletes daily and for the rest of their lives. At the heart of the success of Razorback Athletics is the generosity of Razorback Foundation members. Thanks to their loyal support, Arkansas is one of fewer than two dozen financially self-sustaining athletic programs nationwide. We simply could not compete without the support of our Razorback Foundation members. They've provided over $20 million of support in the last three years, and that's an incredible, incredible amount of support for our young people. Razorback Foundation members have always been instrumental in providing the resources to meet the needs of a nationally competitive all-sports program. But is that support really impacting the lives of student-athletes? The finances uh, that are 
being poured into this university. Trust me, uh, this administration is making sure that it's going to benefit the student athletes. And that's the thing that has impressed me as I've come back is that uh, I think Jeff Wong and his, his administration, uh, even starting at uh, Chester Gerhardt, uh, that they are concerned more about the student athletes and the students here at this university, uh, their experience here, that it's a positive experience. So uh, those finances are, are being spent in, 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 a, in a smart way. The foundation, without them, you know, this would not be possible, and this would be possible, and they have to realize that they're extension, you know, of us, and we are extension of them, and we work together toward excellence and, and uh, making, a, uh, making a point to show how great Arkansas is, and it's a place where people really want to go. I've been so successful at the University of Arkansas with their gymnastics program and everything else they have to offer, and none of that would have been possible without the support of the Razorback Foundation. As Razorback Athletics turns the page on another remarkable year, Razorback student athletes and coaches have already been working toward the next chapter of Razorback history. What awaits in the coming year? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But if it's anything like 2013-14, it should be worth the wait. I've been fortunate to be coach at Arkansas for 24 years now. We've had some great successes in the past, but I'm even more excited about the future. So this fall, when the Razorbacks run out through the A and the band strikes up that familiar song, think of those few words written a century ago. After all, Never Yield is not just a signature line in our fight song. It is a mantra that has shaped our past and inspires our future. Never Yield. Never Yield. Never Yield. Never Yield. Never Yield. Never Yield. Never Yield.